What's up Beast Fam and welcome to another video. As you can see by the title of this video, today I'm going to discuss 5 mistakes I've made in the gym and how you can avoid those mistakes and maximize your gains. Now let's get straight into it. Number 1. Not paying attention to your recovery. This includes sleep, rest days, and nutrition. When we go to the gym and do weight training, our muscles are torn. For our body to repair these muscles and grow bigger, we need to give it enough rest and sleep. I recommend getting at least 7 to 8 hours per night. Don't go over 10 as that would be oversleeping and can cause problems as well. Rest days are also important as going to the gym every day will end up burning you out which will cause injury and a lack of performance at the gym. I recommend taking at least 1-2 to two days off per week to ensure you're getting your recovery in. Lastly, nutrition. In order for our body to be the muscle building or fat losing machine that we want it to be, we have to feed it the right fuel. You wouldn't put cheap fuel in your car, so why would you put it in your body, right? Make sure you eat enough protein, fats and carbs to maximize your progress and workout. Number two, not tracking your workouts. By not tracking your workouts, it's very easy to do the same weight over and over and over and make no progress at all. What we want to do is we want to consistently, over time, get stronger and stronger, which is our next point, progressive overload. Number three, not progressively overloading. What this means is, every week we want to get stronger and stronger. It doesn't matter whether you lift one kilo more, you do one more set, one more rep, or reduce your rest time. What matters is that on a week-to-week -week basis that we're improving in any aspect at all. Now, don't let your ego get in the way and lift anything that you can't handle. Always make sure that you're using proper form when weight training. Number four, not tracking our rest times. I honestly only started doing this a couple months ago and it is amazing. By having shorter rest times, we make our workout more intense. And by tracking it, we also make our workouts more consistent so we can focus on what matters progressive overload. I would recommend getting between 90 to 120 seconds of rest after each set for a good workout. Of course, if you're training in the lower rep range of one to three, make sure that you get enough rest so that you can do the next set. Number five, program hopping. I've done it and most likely you've done it too. If we keep jumping from program to program, we won't actually fully maximize the programming of the program. I recommend choosing a program that you'd like and that is sustainable in the long term so that you can fully commit to it for 12 weeks to see real results. By tracking our workouts, we can compare our weights from when we started the program to where we are now and how much we've progressed and gotten stronger. If you really enjoy a specific program, you can opt to do it for 6 months but the problem is there's the law of diminishing returns and you won't get much out of it. So it's best to change things up every 12 to 16 weeks to throw your body a curveball and keep it guessing. Now I know I titled this video Top 5 Mistakes but I've got a bonus one for you today and that's not foam rolling or releasing your muscles. Over time our muscles become tight due to build up of tension from repeated movements. This causes physical knots within our muscles which make it tight and end up reducing our range of motion. By using a foam roller or using releasing exercises, we can target these tight muscles and actively try to get rid of these knots. At first, it will be extremely painful, but I promise over time as you get rid of these knots, it will become easier and less painful as you foam roll and release your muscle. Thanks for watching this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't, give me a like, comment, and let me know what else you guys want me to talk about. Hit Beast out!